For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. It's been more than 10 years since the first BMW S1000RR came in and changed the superbike world. From then on, everybody was playing catch up. BMW however did not stop there, they went racing and now with almost a decade of experience fine tuning the original mean machine, they decided to make a brand new one. The new BMW S1000RR is actually in the true sense totally new. It took over 4 years to develop and fine tune this machine and it has now been finally launched in India. It will be a CBU model with 3 versions available with prices starting from Rs 18.5 lakh rupees ex showroom. We got to ride the top spec Pro M Sport version at the Buddha International Circuit right after its launch and one thing was immediately clear. BMW has changed the sports bike world yet again. The all-new BMW S1000RR, even in its stock standard trim, produces more power, is lighter, more compact and filled with electronics to the brim. It even gets a quick shifter with clutchless up and down shifting with auto blip as standard. The engine now uses BMW's shift cam technology that ensures you have a minimum of 100mm of torque available right from 5500 rpm all the way to the red line at 14500 rpm. This is a mechanical system within the engine that changes cam profiles at 9000 rpm, ensuring a powerful mid-range as well as punchy power at the top end of the rpm spectrum. Even with the new mechanical addition, the engine is 4 kgs lighter and more compact than before. It even drives more freely than its predecessor thanks to lighter internal components. Coming to the electronics that tame this machine, right from the standard version you get 3 riding modes, race ABS and dynamic traction control. But as you go to the Pro and M versions, you get electronics and modes that let you control almost every aspect of this machine, right from hill assist, cruise control to more complicated ones like launch control, wheelie control, slide control and new race pro modes that give you further ability to fine tune individual settings as per your riding style and for the racetrack. The suspensions are now for Marzocchi and you get electronically adjustable ones on the top variants. These can be adjusted on the go as well. The top spec M version gets carbon fiber wheels and this brings down the curve weight to 193.5 kgs. But even with all these changes to the engine and electronics, what really is best about the new BMW S1000RR is the way it handles. It's as compact as a 600cc Super Sport and it's so nimble on its feet. The revised swing arm and the mass centralization helps you change direction quicker. You now sit more within the bike than on it thanks to the revised tank design and handlebar positioning. The brakes are now from Hayes and in our opinion could have used a sharper initial bite. But these have been designed for a more progressive operation to suit a larger variety of riders and also to prolong disc and caliper life. For our first ride experience, we just got the machine for a few laps but one thing is already clear. The new BMW S1000RR has definitely changed the game again. It's not just a better track machine but a better road machine as well. And trust us when we say this, once you ride it, you're never going to talk about missing the asymmetric design. This is an all new machine.